Hello, hello, hello. And for here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with a horoscope reading. This time it's for November, the m- November monthly horoscope. So if you haven't checked out last month's, uh, you need to put a link to it up here. Basically, you're going to look for the timestamp down below that corresponds with your astrological sun sign, and uh, you'll get a reading for what to expect in November. So, um, if you guys really like these, make sure you tip. There's a link to my paper down below and a button on YouTube that's a heart that says thanks you give me money directly, okay? So don't forget, remember these readings are all different tapers only, and let's just get started. So we're going backwards. So Pisces, this is for your monthly, your monthly horoscope for the month of November. Oh my God, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Uh, if, you guys like to, if you guys would like to tip, uh, there's a link to my PayPal down below and a button on YouTube that's a heart that says thanks. We can give you money directly. Okay, so let's start off with my little Pisceans. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the cards just threw themselves at me. So maybe maybe you're going to throw yourself at someone or someone is going to throw themselves at you. Um, let's get one more here. Okay, so the first card we have here is... The Knight of Pentacles reverse, it's inconsistencies. And then the second one here is the Six of Cups, the past, and then the Four of Swords is not taking no for an answer. So what this translates to is something or someone from our past that was inconsistent and left open-ended will be figured out and the cycle will be completed this month. So it could be someone from your past, you're finally gonna figure out where they place in your life or where they don't place in your life. Um, Maybe someone who ghosted or fell apart could be an opportunity or a job opportunity or somewhere to make money where um, it wasn't happening and now it comes back and it's going to happen. Um, there's just something that was left unfinished that is going to and is set to return. Um, so something unfinished is set to return and complete its cycle. Um, something that was very hot and cold or wishy-washy or just inconsistent. Um So that's probably the main thing, especially with that card jumping. It's like jumping out. It seems like it's going to happen like really quickly and in your face. Like you're not going to really expect it. I would expect an unexpected message from something or someone or an unexpected email. Um, Okay. So that's um, what. Okay. Let's do the mermaids first. Let's do the mermaid deck first. Oh my God. Okay. A drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. You know, that's what you guys do naturally. So let's see, clarification, Atlantis, rapid development, excellent success. So it does look to me like, it looks like, it really does look like there's, um, how do I word this? I think an opportunity is going to fall in your lap. I think for a lot of you, it's something to make money or additional income. Um, but it just looks to me like something is going to kind of fall into your lap or like you're going to be like swimming upstream and it, like you bump into it. Like there definitely looks like an opportunity. I feel like there's an opportunity for most of you. It's going to be money for some of you. It's just emotional, but there's an opportunity that's going to fall into your lap that you're going to have to make a very big decision about this month. Like it's a big decision because this is like the lost city of Atlantis, right? Rapid development. It really is something that's going to make a big decision. Think of it like displacing you. So displacing your location or displacing your trajectory or your plans. So a really big decision will happen uh, based off an opp- as opportunity you receive. Fertility. Yeah, it, it definitely looks like something that you've been wanting for a while that you kind of left to the wayside. So it's something that you really wanted. For some of you, it could be love, right? Some of you could be a baby. But for others, it's just some opportunity you've really wanted and you kind of forgot about. And you let on the back, back burner and you're like, oh, I haven't heard from that in a while or I forgot about it. Mm, it's coming forward for sure. Ooh, chocolate, aphrodisiac. You know, that's sweet victory for me. That's what that's, this is going to feel like. But also, um, for me, it definitely looks like you're going to be seen. So I think a lot of Pisces have been feeling like sort of like no one sees them, no one hears them, no one feels them. Um, and it looks like you're really going to kind of be seen. Um, 
Like people are going to find you attractive this month. People are going to remember you and be like, oh, I forgot about this. Like you've been kind of on the back burner with a lot of people, a lot of things, and you're going to be at the forefront this month. So this is your month. So strike while the iron is hot. Um, for some of you, this could be an awakening in someone else being interested in you. I mean, look at that aphrodisiac and fertility. Maybe they're really interested in you and they finally realize that. For others, you're the one that's finally realizing your interest in them because this is with the four of swords could also be like somebody that you didn't really think you had feelings for, you suddenly realize you had feelings for or vice versa. It could be a job opportunity you didn't really think you wanted, but now you realize I actually really want that or vice versa. So basically what I'm seeing here is like an awakening um, and like um, the fog being cleared and the haze being cleared. Um, I do think that for most of you, there should be, I mean, some really good spicy moment. You know, if you, any of you are uh Looking to enjoy intimacy with someone this month uh, should be pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. This is an explosive moment here that has potential if you're interested. Or maybe you're just going to buy someone a really nice gift with the chocolate aphrodisiac. Maybe you'll buy someone a nice gift. If there is someone you like or someone you're trying to win over or someone you want to send a message to, buy them a gift or buy them some chocolate. Okay. What card do I want to do next? Okay, let's do this and then... Oh shit, this card is literally, okay. The Wood Maiden Trust. Yeah, it looks like you're finally going to feel like you can trust someone. There is a really defining moment where you finally realize you can trust someone and you're also learning to trust the universe and that this opportunity is actually going to stick and it's not going to fall apart. You've, you've had this fall apart before, this situation, whether it's a job or a relationship or whatever, and you're, it's finally going to stick. The space princess. Oh, come on. Oops, I did it again. I think you're really realizing your mistakes. You're not going to you're not going to let this opportunity slip. You've let this opportunity slip before or this person slip and you're not going to let it happen again. There's a threat to an opportunity as well, so you have to strike quickly. I think you will. Yep, glamour. You're going to feel really hot and sexy. I really think you guys are going to really feel very attractive, very confident. There's a lot of good vibes. People are going to start noticing you when they didn't notice you before. Like, people are going to be all about you. Okay, let's pull a sign here. Scorpio. Ooh, where's that coming from? Oh, Jupiter. Ooh, secret luck and expansion. This is the seventh house. Damn it. Okay. Someone is going to tell you they have feelings for you or you're going to tell someone they have feelings, you have feelings for them. If you're in a relationship, your partner is going to tell you something really important. Uh, a secret will be revealed or vice versa. Um, either way, no matter what happens, this is really good. So even if you're, if you're single, it's really good. If you are dating, it's really good because it's an honest moment and it's something that'll bring you really close. If it's neither of those, then it's a friend that really confides in you or you really confide in them. I'm going to be honest because I'm seeing the Scorpio. If it's not a Scorpio that does it to you, then you're probably going to be doing it with someone else because Jupiter and seventh house is like expanding your seventh house, which usually means like someone someone you're harboring a secret from it's time to come clean with um and you'll feel happy to do that so i think a lot of you are going to be telling your truth but it could be vice versa as well so let's get you some letters to end out the reading and some numbers let's do the numbers first twenty and ten Looking so fire hot, a 20 out of 10. Come on, Britney Spears. Up and down. Okay, we have Y, U, C, P, Cup, D. Come on, Cup. Okay, T, two T's and a K. Um, oh, sh. Okay. I dropped it in my lap. A, O, T, 
TKO. <laughs> okay, can we stop getting repeating letters? They're all A's and O's. Let's get something else. Okay, U, E, G. I wanna be that guy. Okay, that's it. So another Y and another A. Can we get a different letter here? Another A. Okay. I'm just gonna keep pulling until I get a different letter. There's already a D there. There's a lot of repetition here, so I feel like someone mirrors you. Another O. X. There you go. That was no help. Sorry. The letters are not doing much for you guys this month. Let's get you a song. Ha! So it's Adam Lambert's For Your Entertainment. <laughs> I'm here for your entertainment. <clears throat> so basically what it makes me feel like is there's definitely, there's definitely... There's something or someone that you really enjoy that you have been taking advantage of or taking for granted, or maybe someone's really enjoyed you and taken advantage and taking for granted. And there's going to be an honest moment between you and this person that's really coming through very strongly. It's a mirroring. Um, and it's something that I feel like you haven't really realized is super important, but when you do, it's going to change your dynamic. So I kind of like that for you guys. I like that for Pisces. It's about you really realizing who you value and who values you. It's beautiful. I love that. Remember, if you guys like that, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says, thanks. You give money directly. Good luck, Pisces. Critical test Period up, period up, period up, period up. I'm getting hungry. Oh. Cross the rivers of my mind, you're my little love. Who's next? Aquarius, this is your monthly horoscope for November. Remember, if you like these tips, there's a link to my favorite down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says, thanks. You give money directly. Okay. So, my little aquariums. Let's go. Get them, girls. Okay. Let's see. How is your month going to go? Let's see. Let's pull some cards here. Okay. So, we have this one. Strength. Okay. Stubbornness. Okay. Justice card reverse. Oh, uh oh. Okay, the fool. We made a wrong turn. That's okay. So, you're going to realize this month that you've made a wrong turn. There is a decision you made that you're like, oops, that was a wrong one. There's a friendship you made that you're like, oops, this is toxic. There's a relationship you were in that you went, oops, mistake. There's a decision you made at work or a job opportunity, whatever the case may be. There is something that you've, you've there's a decision that you've made that you need to go back from. With the strength card, you're going to try and fix it. And you're going to be like, I am, you know, ego responsive. So you're going to be like, okay, like I, I, I the ego is going to be very strong. So it's going to be like, um, no, I didn't make a mistake. Like, no, I'll figure it out. I'll fix it. Just walk away from it. Let it go. Let this person go, let this opportunity go, walk away from it. Because if you're stubborn and you try so hard to hold on to it, you're going to look stupid. I think a lot of you have trusted the wrong person and they're going to have egg on your face if you're not careful. See the warning signs of people. And if other people are telling you something, you need to listen. Um, that being said, the fool is technically a good card here past that point because once you realize you're naive, the fool is about freedom. 
So I think in the beginning, it's going to be a little tough, but towards the middle of this month, you're going to start to feel free again. You're going to start to feel happy and you're going to feel like you've let go of a toxic person or energy and you've cut ties with something that doesn't suit you. So I actually see you feeling very free, very happy, very open. Um, and I feel like with the fool, you're finally going to feel youthful, young, and vibrant again. Um, I think a lot of you have let one of your passions go to the wayside, especially if any of you are into, um, um, fashion. It seems like a lot of you have let one of your passions go to the wayside and it's time to pick up that passion again and make you feel alive. And you will be picking that project up again. You will. Okay. Soul cage, rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. See? It's like you were tied so tightly to something and there was no reason for it. Like it's, there was no reason for you to be tied to this. Like you can walk away. It's, it's time. Oh my God. Conchamancy, seashell divination, wisdom of seashells. So this is literally about seeing the future. Um, so it's like, maybe you had a dream about it or someone else did, or maybe someone warned you, but some, I definitely feel like a lot of people warned you and you were just like, oh no, it's fine. But you're going to realize that being tied to this energy was just a waste of time and not good for you. Um, yeah, justice card. It might even be someone or something that, that failed you previously. So yeah, I also think someone has been saying something about you that just isn't true. And I don't think it's going to cause any drama. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. But you're going to be like, oh, sh fucking, I can't believe that. Like, so childish. And you're going to be like, bye. That's what it feels like to me. But it's a good thing, though, because, again, breaking free from chains. That's what the, the entirety of this spread so far is about. Letting go. Pentacle, respect. Ooh. So for those of you that are looking uh, for a job, great, great sign about finding that this month. For If you're looking for a little bit of a raise or extra money, there it is. However, if you are in a job, pentacle and respect means that people at your job are going to really, really respect you. They're, you're going to have a moment where you earn a lot of people's respect this month and um, people are really going to sort of feel very like happy and celebrate something with you. So love that. But even in general, that's money coming to you, which we really like. Oh, shit, this card flew out. Sage, purification. I really feel like you're cleansing your space. Some of you might be redecorating or renovating something or changing your style. I just really feel like you your guys, you guys are going to have an empty vessel ready for new experiences, ready for new friendships, ready for new things in life and in job. I just feel like you guys are really cleansing your energy, you feel really happy, really clean. It's just going to require a little bit of a rough beginning to this month or a little bit of a rough start with someone where you have to remove them. And then once that, you're purifying your life and getting of the toxic i love this perfect love 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 no criticism here i'm like trying to make sure i don't lose everything like on my desk i have like this setup so that i make sure i don't like drop all the cards but of course my disorganized self <laughs> i'm not an aquarius i'm a gemini what can i say okay Cinderella magic. Okay. I mean, maybe something really amazing happened in Halloween for you because we are looking at the pumpkin here. Um, but th that card to me makes me feel like, oh, where's the other deck here? That card to me makes me feel like there's definitely something, the magic in yourself is coming back, but there's definitely something that you really resonated with that you let go of. Like I just... I can't shake that. Yep, I knew it. The artist. I knew it. There's something creative or something passion-wise that is like so important for you to pick back up. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to bring you the next opportunity for you, whether it be love or business or friendship. It's really important. Join a class or something. Like there's something there's something passion-wise that is like magic in a bottle for you and like really sets the tone for your future. If any of you do anything creative, you might have like a really crazy moment happen. Maybe a video go viral or like an opportunity to make money or something. 
Okay, so Chupacabra is consumed. That one is not really super shocking to me um, because it feels like someone, that's the negative person that you're going to be removing. It feels like they were all consuming. And you don't really realize that they were sapping your energy. Even if you didn't talk to them every day, they still sapped your energy. It's an energy vampire. Okay, we have Aries. Aries about putting yourself first. So I love that. Finally learning to do that. Selfish energy there. Jupiter, luck and expansion. I told you there's an opportunity coming when it comes to money for you guys. In the first house, what did I say? So honestly, I'm going to be honest. This month, just be kind of a little bit selfish. Prioritize yourself. Um, also, be a leader. If there's something you want to do, organize it. If you want to bring friends to something, organize it. If you want to go somewhere, organize it. Be a leader. You need to be more of a leader this month. You need to initiate. Initiation is the number one important thing. It's time to initiate and stop waiting around for people to do things with you and for people to ask you for things and start initiating. You start getting what you want. I think you'll realize people really value you um, when you initiate. Oh, you got three numbers. I didn't even notice that. So eight, this could either be a nine or a six. I think it's a nine though. And 10. Oh, eight, nine, 10. Three in a row. I wonder if that has some significance this month. Things are gonna happen in a row maybe. Okay. A. E, I, O, oh my God, all the vowels. C, E, T, A. R, O, Cory, H, I, not whore. I and <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. There's another. Oh, let's get a different letter. Let's get one we don't have here. V. Okay, there you go. Priya, 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 Priya. Okay, let's get you a song. Ha! Not it being J-Lo's booty. <laughs> big, big booty, because you got a big booty. <laughs> okay. For my singles, okay? For my singles, you're going to have some fun. Um... Even if you're not single, maybe you're going to have a really fun party, a really fun event that you're going to go to because I see that as like a party song. There's a hair in my mouth, which is weird. Where did that come from? Y'all, you guys are going to have a really fun, fun moment, a fun party or fun something. For my singles, you might have a really fun hookup or a really fun date. For those in a relationship, you and your partner might be doing something really fun this month um, or something freaky. Um, but I really feel like, uh, there's a little bit of a party atmosphere towards the end of this month. I really feel, I don't know. It's like something that you can really have fun with and let loose and shake your ass and sort of have a good time. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, I mean, maybe booty is literal and some of you are getting a BBL this month, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully some of you shake your ass this month and have a good time. Cause that's really what I think you need. So Remember um, to tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on you that's heart that says thanks. So we can give you money directly. Until next time, good luck. You're my little love. <clears throat> Do a bad thing twice. Critical test. I want to do a bad thing twice. Cat.
Capricorn. This is your monthly horoscope for November. Remember, if you like these tips, there's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says thanks. You can give money directly. Okay. Come on, Capricorns. Let's see how this month is going to go for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Well, then. We've got a decent amount of cards here. So a lot of cards fell out of my deck, which doesn't really happen very often. So... Let's see, there are five cards here. So we have the Five of Cups, some sort of disappointment, the Page of Pentacles, money and expectations, the Three of Pentacles, job, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Wands, which is rapid change. So a dynamic with you and another person in your life is going to change. I don't know if that's for the better or for the worse, um, but what I can say is it's something that definitely looks like it's a long time coming. Um, it seems like you've been avoiding something with them or they've been avoiding something with you. Um, I'm also seeing um, when it comes to work, there's a disappointment with either yourself or someone else or someone with you at work. Um, so I'm definitely seeing that. Um, it's not a giant one. It's just a small one. Um, and then I'm also seeing um, money that needs to be spent on something that we didn't think we'd have to spend money on. Okay? That is all to say that I want Capricorns to be careful of being too hard on themselves this month. What I'm seeing is a lot of the issues that you have put on the wayside, a lot of the things that you've been ignoring are finally bubbling and boiling over. It seems like you got tunnel visioned and you were focused on certain things and you were letting problems go to the wayside until they festered and bubbled over. And now they're going to be bubbling over. So I know a lot of Capricorns are going to watch this and be like, oh my God, that's terrible. Not really. I think the lesson to learn here is just to better prioritize your issues. Um, and it also is sort of letting you know that these things are very easily solved if we solve them when they first come up. Um, I just think you've been avoiding a lot of stuff and you need to be careful of your avoiding tendencies. Um, the good news is um, it does look like things will sort themselves out by the end of the month. And we are looking at the page of pentacles here, which it is upright. So that does mean that you will reach the expectations that you need to reach. Um, in fact, you might even make a little bit of extra money towards the end of the month, um, even though you had to spend some extra in the beginning. Uh, so it all evens out in the end. I will also say that there is going to be an issue for those of you that have a job. Um, there is going to be an issue at work, and it's going to require a lot of effort to fix. But once it's fixed, things will be fine. So um, we're not worried about that uh, too much. Um, if you're looking for a job, Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is a really good sign for getting something that pays you well. The only issue is the five of cups which means that there's one disappointment before we get the opportunity um so let's keep pulling oh also i would like to address i do read my comments and capricorns love to cry the most about my readings i don't know how they've decided that i have a hate boner for them i mean every sign complains i hate them but capricorns like to band together and pretend i hate them um capricorns are some of my favorite people so you're just delusional <laughs> Okay, we have honor the masculine. This is actually a really good sign. Uh, respecting men, embracing masculine divine. So this one in the context of this is about realizing that it's important to embrace other aspects of ourselves. So yes, being in control and being dominant and making sure you're doing what you need to, what needs to be done is very, very important. And I do think that you've, you've done a good job of that. That is also telling me that um, sometimes when you're in control, you forget that there are parts of your life you can't control no matter what. Um, so again, the present gift, treasure, revelation of own value and nowness. So what did I say? Uh, sometimes you have to really realize that what's currently there is more important than the goal that I'm chasing. So I really just think that this month is going to teach you to enjoy what's in front of you and to appreciate what's in front of you. Um, I, I think that you're just getting too in your head about where you want to go and what you want to do. Um, um, I think you're getting too ahead of yourself and you're forgetting to nurture the things that are in front of you. I don't want you to lose out on the people that value you and the things that value you. So really make sure you're paying attention to what's in front of you and what you're enjoying and make sure you're vocalizing your enjoyment because sometimes when the honor of the masculine card comes up, especially with a, with an earth sign, sometimes that means that you're, you're avoiding your emotions and you're bottling up your feelings. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to really make sure you're telling people that you care and showing them that you care um, because people are going to see a different side to you if you do that and you'll actually get a lot more reward than you think oh, oh god this card oh god 
Fulfillment chalice. Oh, I love this. It looks like when you do that, and it's going to happen this month, you're going to have a heart to heart with a lot of people. When you do that, you're going to really grow close to some of these people. Like I think a lot of your friendships are really going to be strengthened. They're going to grow. You're going to grow closer. Your bond is going to go closer with your partner. Some of you might really finally be ready to start actually dating if you've been single or taking it serious. Look at this witch hazel and sensitivity. I think you're clearing out your heart chakra this month. And I think you're clearing out your throat chakra. So it's about expressing yourself and feeling your feelings. It really looks like you're finally getting in touch with your sensitive side. And if you are overly sensitive, you're finally learning to control your emotions and to be a little bit more, bit more in control of that overly emotional nature. Like you're balancing yourself a lot better. So I love that. That's actually really perfect and really important. Yes, fair brown trembling gifts. So now we have gifts twice, which makes me think you're either going to give someone a gift to show how much you care about them or someone is going to give you a gift to show how much they care. Um, but gift giving has an important relevance this month. I can't pick up this deck without... Oh my God, the artist. I want a clarification. The badass. Okay. It, it feels like you're going to find an appreciation for something that you normally didn't. So something you hated or disliked or someone you hated you disliked, you're going to like or find an appreciation for. Diversity. See? Diversity. It's almost like a new aspect of yourself or a new aspect to your life that you didn't see coming that you're really going to enjoy. So I really like that. It's broadening your horizons. Sometimes you think you know what's best for you, but the universe knows better. Ooh, okay. We see Sagittarius. That's individuality, but that's also like straightforward energy. The sun, happiness. It's also relationships. The second house, self-worth and income. I think that you guys really, really, really are going to, because you have to understand, Sagittarius is very honest and it's very blunt. And the sun is focused on itself. And the second house is focused on what it can generate and what it can keep. And so for me, I really feel strongly about this gift giving thing. I don't know if it's you to them or them to you. It's very loud. But I'm also seeing you needing to understand that hoarding your time and energy and hoarding your resources and hoarding things is not going to fly anymore. Um, you need to learn to share. And I think sharing is really going to get you what you're looking for. It is the missing piece. You've been trying to hit that goal. You start sharing, sharing your time, your effort, your energy, your feelings. The more you share this month, the more opportunity you'll have, the more goals you'll achieve, um, especially with that Sagittarius energy, which means like stop being um, a robot and start being a person. You know, I think sometimes Capricorns are afraid to really speak their mind because when they speak their mind, they're afraid that they'll seem weird or different and push people away, but it'll actually draw people to you when you have an opinion. So I really think you're going to learn a lot about that. Right, let's get you some... My Capricorns can be some so dramatic sometimes. Okay, we have 18 and 29. 17, 29. Come on, Demi Lovato. Come on, Lovatics. P, E, O. Come on, Poe. A, Poet, H. Not Ho. Hop. A, Y. B, Q, T, I, oh my God, <laughs> if we get a C, okay, and we have a Z, an F, and an S. Okay, one more, just one more. 
Oh, it's another T. Can we get a different letter? W. Okay, period. Come on, wet. Come on, wop. Okay. Says, I just feel like there's a really important conversation to be had. That's what I'm feeling really bad. Okay. Let's get you a song. I'm getting hungry. <gasps> take it or leave it. I'm going to take it or leave it. Uh, it's Fetish by Selena Gomez and Gucci Mane. Um, very underrated song. Selling ears rise up. Selling ears rise up. Selling ears rise up. Um, so I think that, I mean, some of you might really be exploring your fetishes this, this month. Um, but I think the, 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 the song itself is very cocky and I feel like, cause it's like, oh, you have a fetish for love. You're obsessed with me. I feel like for a lot of Capricorns, the lesson to be learned here is that your silence is being misinterpreted as ego. And I think if you reconnect with people and you're more open, you'll remind people that you're a really kind, sensitive, caring person. So remember, if you like those tips, there's a link down below. Um, and there's also a button on YouTube that's a heart that says, thanks, you can give me money directly. Good luck. Period, period. Uh, you're my little love. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Ooh. You know? Ooh. Come on, Carly Rae Jepsen, the queen of pop, outsold the Beatles effortlessly. Your faves could never. Best songwriter ever. This is an intense reading. Capricorns are going to be mad. They're always mad, though. Literally, every month, they're, like, congregating in my comments, yelling at me. Girl. No, ma'am. Sagittarius, this is your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you like these, you tip. There's a link to my paper down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says thanks for giving money directly. All right, Swagatarians, let's see what's going on. What's going on? Somebody tell me. What's going on? Yeah. Come on, Sagittarius. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Feeling pressured and trapped. Uh-oh. 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 Strength. Holding tightly. Okay, so we're holding tightly to something. Cho something's in a chokehold. The Wheel of Fortune. Bad luck. Mmm. <gasps> Wait. Two of Wands. Someone is going to try and fight you for something that you feel like is yours. Oh, period. You got a battle on your hands. Okay. Someone is either going to try to take something from you or someone is going to fight you for something that you've been holding on to or something that is yours. Um, there is just something that you feel ownership to or someone that you feel ownership to. The Strength card, I'm holding tightly to it. The Eight of Swords, I'm feeling like people are coming for me. There's swords everywhere. Why am I feeling like I'm a victim here? Why are people coming for me? The Strength card, I'm holding tightly to something. The Wheel of Fortune, bad luck or bad opportunity or someone seeing my opportunity as theirs so it would be bad like bad for them to take it and then the clarification here is the two of wands which is friction between two people so it definitely looks like you got a little bit of a hate to love um but there's just someone here who i feel like is going to pull out a territorial nature in you someone here is going to try and take something of yours or cause problems with something in your life um i do not think that they will be successful but i do think that you're going to have to kind of get your bow and arrow ready because i do think that you're going to probably shoot an arrow too at this person um just because it seems like they're um incessant um this is not something you can ignore this has to be something that you address um I will say that this person will be disturbing your peace, not vice versa, um, and they will be initiating, so it won't be hard for you. Um, I do think a lot of you are going to essentially uh, rip their heads off. Uh, I think with the uh, two of wands here, um, I wouldn't want to mess with the Sagittarius that's pissed off, and so I really feel like you're probably going to tell someone something that they need to hear. Um, so it's a little bit, um, I wouldn't say it's toxic, um, as much as I would say someone's asking for an ass whooping. So for me, it's more so along the lines of you not being afraid to really speak your honest truth and defend the things that you care about and the people that you care about. 
Um, so that's going to be the first thing that I'm seeing here. So let's keep pulling. Sanctuary, privacy, and violate personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. I told you, someone is going to disturb your peace. Absolutely, sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. Bitch, you got a hater. Okay, there is a hater. However, that to me is about strengthening your bonds to everyone else though. So um, it does look like someone is going to have your back this month as well. It looks like you're going to really realize that someone is a really good friend to you or that they have your back. Um, I also think that perhaps you're going to really realize that there's someone that you can trust. Um, trust is going to be tested with you and someone else, but you're going to realize that they're on your side. Um, cause that feels good to me. So I want you to be careful about anything that looks weird. Here's what I'm going to warn you about this month. Okay. Sagittarius, someone actually does have your back and someone else is trying to make it seem like they don't. So be careful in assuming that someone you trust that you shouldn't trust because it looks like you actually can trust them. Give them the benefit of the doubt and make sure you look for tangible evidence and don't get too ahead of yourself because there is a manipulative third party here that you're going to spot pretty quickly. Okay. Containment cauldron. I told you, just don't blow up too quickly. You'll realize who need, needs to be blown up on. It's not this person that you're close to. It's someone else. Expulsion. Oh my God. <laughs> You might even have to defend, defend a friend. Maybe you're the one defending one of your friends or something like that. But uh, damn, there's a there's a there's a there's a little bit of a battle this month. I'm not gonna lie. It's very loud, which means it's gonna take a big precedence here. Perhaps there's a friend that you're frustrated with. Maybe that's what it is because there's some sort of there's some sort of bubbling and boiling over here. Gifts. Hmm. Let's see for clarification here. The flight attendant, toxic though. This is tough from toxic. I feel like someone is going to give you something or give someone something, or perhaps they're going to write you a message or something. There's someone being messy. Uh, there's a messy little person here. Hmm. Be careful of someone that's trying to butter you up. That's what it is. Someone is going to be overtly nice to you and trying to butter you up, buy you something, give you a gift, whatever. Be careful. Somebody wants something from you and they're trying to win you over and it's obvious. They're being fake. Someone is going to be fake to you. That's what it is. That's what that gift is. That's what the toxic energy is. They're being overly nice to you for a reason. They want something. You know, bring, beware of the bring a dog a bone thing, whatever. Distraction. See? Trying to distract you and not make and you second guess that person's intentions. You're gonna spot them right away. This is really loud. I'm gonna be honest. It's the biggest message this month. Okay, we have Pisces energy, illusion disillusionment. Is there anything else going on? Moon, deceit and deception. Oh, fourth house, home and family. I just think that all my Sagittariuses are going to realize who they can trust and who they can't trust this month. So if, let me tell you something. There are some people that you really are going to trust so hard this month and you're going to stick to them like glue. Um, and you're really going to feel attached and invested. And it's going to be really amazing. And there are some people that are so bad, they're going to be like, get the fuck out. You're a terrible person. So I really feel like your peace is going to be disturbed. And by the end of the month, you will figure out that it was for the best and it got rid of some of the trash. Um, 
Also, if there's a change in your home, it's positive um, with the fourth house um, or where you live. Um, I'm also seeing uh, the moon in the Pisces card. For all my creative people, you're going to be so inspired this month. Like this month, you might be going through some tribulations, but you're going to be so fucking inspired. And you're going to make some really good creative uh, energy, creative art. Um, very, very good. Um, also, uh, for those of you that end up feeling like, oh, I spotted this, I got rid of it. Um, with the moon in the fourth house, someone close to you is going to reveal a secret to you that you least expect. So um, it's it doesn't look like it's a great news. It doesn't look like it's bad news. It's neutral. But someone is going to confide in you and release a secret that they've been harboring and holding for a while. In general, I would say very much testing the connection that you share with other people. Um, I know a lot of you can be like, oh my God, this month sucks. This month sucks. No, 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 no. Because I think that this month is really teaching you about your intuition and to trust it. Sometimes you do need to defend your space and sometimes you do need to tell people off. It's in your nature and you shouldn't be afraid to do that. Okay. You have a mouth. You're supposed to use it. You have been letting people get away with bullshit for far too long. Stop that. Stop that. Stop placating people. Stop being nice. Nice people finish last. And that's the lesson to learn here. Stop it. Being nice is not a personality trait. Okay. Being nice is a manipulation tactic. Okay. And you're realizing that. Okay. It's a way to get what you want. And you don't need to be that way. Okay. You need to be authentic. That's what makes Sagittarius is happy and successful is authenticity. Remember that. Okay. Look at you. You forgot who the fuck you were. And they've forgotten who the fuck you were. It's time to remind them. Two and seven. Blaze the trail. G E T get. See, you're gonna get something you really want by the end of this month. B B E T. Come on, B E T. Come on, B E T awards. Okay, F. Not fat life, S T I. Ooh, not S T D. S. Y I P. Any letter? Critical destiny. Lots of E's. Oh, it does say bestie here, huh? Okay, W, A, U, and Q, okay. Quad, queef. Okay, let's get you a song. <gasps> Beyonce's irreplaceable. Some of your friends are irreplaceable and you are irreplaceable, period. You're going to really realize who is worthy of being in your life and who isn't. Oh, I love that. Okay, if you like that, make sure you tip. There's links to people down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says thanks. You give money directly. Good luck. You must not know about these. You must not know about these. Hey, Miss Carter. <laughs> Whew. Why well, my ass hurt? Not somebody being butt hurt. Girl. Critical. Okay, who's up next? Scorpio, this is your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you like these, you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's one on YouTube as a heart. It says thanks. You can money directly. Okay, Scorpios. Let's see what's going to happen for you. For some of you, it's your birthday. Tell them that it's my birthday when I party like that. Ooh, four swords. Rejection and healing of wounds. Uh. Oh, spaghettios. Why is that the first pull? 
Ace of Swords, regrets. Oh! The lovers. Ew, my heart. I see you reconciling with someone. I love that. I see you reconciling with someone that you had a problem with, beef with, resentment, or um, something to that nature. Either they regret what they did or you regret what you did or both. So I definitely see you healing a problem that you had with someone. There's a really like a strengthening of a bond that someone with someone that you had, like a hiccup that's healed. I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Coral's wisdom. Colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. And sacrifice. These are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. I think you really realize that you were wrong about someone and they were wrong about you. So I think you're going to really realize like, shit, I let go of something I shouldn't have let go with. You know, I mean, some of you are going to run back to an ex, but I think for most of you, it's someone that you had a falling out with that was like a friend or something. And you're going to realize like, oh shit, like, dude, I shouldn't have done that. So, or maybe they're going to realize that to you, but either way, it really looks like something that you sacrificed, like an old friendship or old situation is really going to come back. Um, and you're going to really have a healing moment. Like maybe invite someone you haven't spoken to for a while and at your birthday party or out to dinner or something. Like I really feel like there's a really big healing moment that's going to be really great for um, your soul's growth. Hit up an old friend. I think you're probably going to initiate, but look, pentacle respect. Like, I, I really feel like it's almost like an enemy or an arch nemesis that you now have a respect for. Like, there's some sort of, like, change in your dynamic with this person. Um, also, there might be money coming to you, maybe a really big gift or something, but there definitely looks like there's money coming to you. Faith, mustard. Oh, I love that. You've grown up. I really feel a mature energy here from you guys. Like, I feel like you're going to feel like you're growing up. You're shedding a new skin. Um, snake reference there. But, like, you're shedding a new skin. Like, I feel like you're you're really, you're, you're feeling different about a lot of situations. There's change here. There's growth. It's a very docile, calm energy. You guys are going to be very docile and calm this month. There's an inner calmness, an inner peace. Yep. This card is so fucking popular this today. This I mean, this month it's going to be gifts again. There is something that someone gives you, or something that you see you give someone that has relevance—a gift or an opportunity. This month, it's importance. The cusp. What did I say? I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. It really feels like you're on the verge of something really big and you're finally like sort of getting into that energy or getting into that mindset. And it really feels like to me, um, you're on the cusp of something really big and you're finally realizing like I need to mature and grow and this behavior doesn't suit me and it's not going to suit them. I just seen understanding. There's a huge revelation this month about your impact on other people and their impact on you. <laughs> Swiftness. Come on, Taylor Swift. I think things are going to pick up pace once you heal this wound. Once you finally let go of this grudge, you finally heal this wound, you finally like reconnect with this energy, everything in your life is going to pick up pace. You're going to get that job you're looking, that money you're looking, that happiness you're looking for. It's all going to happen once you do this. So we have Leo, which is a little bit bigger and dramatic, but in a good, healthy way. The sun, happiness. See? Harboring resentment and anger is not making you happy and you're realizing that the 11th house. See, there's someone, there's like a friend or something in your circle or used to be in your circle that I really see you like letting go of the grudge and letting go of the anger and letting go of the frustration. I see you finally being happy and realizing that I don't need drama anymore. You know, like there's an inner peace and inner calmness and I don't know if it's coming from you alone. Maybe it's this person having a realization as well, but I really feel very happy. Um, and I also feel like you guys are going to feel very confident. S someone might give you an opportunity. Maybe someone will give you an opportunity, an old friend. Maybe reach out to an old friend if you need a job or you need money. There's definitely something from your past returning as well. And it's good. It's healthy and it's healing. So I like that. 
Good vibes this month all around. It's peace and tranquility for you guys. Let's do this first, actually. Okay, so we have 20 and 3. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. I think you guys are going to be unbothered, too. Nothing's going to bother you that much this month. T and S. Come on, Taylor Swift. Again, another Taylor Swift reference. NW. Northwest, South, and T. IU. T. Tut. Uh oh, not a tit. Two E's, an L, and an S. It's giving L-E-S, lesbian, queen, West. Come on, Kanye. K-O-E. Oh my god. Period up, period up, period up, period up. Come on, Cole. Period up, period up. Oh, there's another L. Okay, we'll give you two more, and that's it. Okay, that could be... I think this is an any letter. Okay, well, we need another one. D. And period, period. Get you a song. Oh my god, I love this Katy Perry song. She's also a Scorpio, triple Scorpio. Um, kind of funny it's Katy Perry when we're seeing all these Taylor Swift signs. <gasps> Not Taylor Swift and Katy Perry mending their feud. Um, kind of funny though, because they had a big feud. It's really funny. Um, By the Grace of God is one of my favorite Katy Perry songs. Um, it's a song about self-reflecting and realizing she was really unhappy and she didn't want to be unhappy anymore. And there's even a reference to unaliving herself in there and realizing that I have to keep going. I'm not going to do that. So for me, I really feel like you guys are finally getting through a storm and you're coming out the other side and you're feeling really confident and happy and realizing that peace and tranquility are more important than being right. So... I love that. If you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. Um, and there's also a button on YouTube that's a heart. It says, thanks for giving me directly. Good luck. By the grace of God. I picked my step. This is also a spiritual song. Say, um, I took one foot in front of the other and I looked in the mirror. Looked in the mirror by the grace of God. Picked myself. I love that song so freaking much. It's such a good song. Libra, this is your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you guys like these, you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on you too. It's a heart. It says thanks for your money directly. Okay. Come on, librarians. Come on, librarians. Let's give y'all what y'all want. Okay. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Yes, come on, Justice. This is literally your card. This always makes things Libra. And also, Sailor Venus is Libra. So, period, opera, 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 opera. So, Justice about something ruling in your favor. Any sort of legal issue you have, you'll be victorious over for any of you interested in that. But, okay. King of Cups reversed. <gasps> oh, someone that's draining. Eight of Wands. Someone in your life that's been really draining and really emo emotionally taxing and kind of really frustrating for you um, is going to get what they deserve. <laughs> um, and I also feel like you're going to feel like someone is being removed from you and dealt with that you have not been able to, to figure out how to get rid of them. Like, you've been like, girl, I can't get rid of this bitch. Like, I can't. This energy is off. How do I get out of this? I don't understand. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to hurt this person. I don't want to hurt this opportunity, whatever. And not only are they going to get what they deserve, but they're going to be, like, 
ousted. So they're going to have other fish to fry. So kind of love that. Very skinny. Um, and it seems like with the justice card, um, you're finally going to feel like they're not going to be blocking your happiness or your rewards anymore because this person took too much energy and time in your life. So you're going to be like, finally, this like dark cloud is removed from my life. Yes, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. And it looks like finally when this situation is figured out or this person is removed or this solution to this problem is found, you're finally going to feel like the floodgates will open up and you'll be able to get your rewards. Yes, adrift. So it looks like for, it looks like you're finally going to feel like you're swimming with, like instead of swimming against the current, you're swimming with it. Um, so you're going to finally feel like, all right, the, the dam has been unlodged and the waters can flow naturally. I think in the beginning of this month, you're really going to have to get rid of something, um, but it's going to happen naturally because that person's going to get their just desserts. So that situation is going to fall apart and you're going to be like, oh good, I don't have to do anything. I'm finally getting what I want. So I think the block in your life, there's a person or a thing that's been blocking a lot of good in your life. It's just going to be removed finally. I think that most of you probably should have done this yourself, but you didn't have the energy to do it, so the universe is ripping it from you. So, Yep, fertility. It seems like you were really close to this thing. Could be a person. I think for a lot of you, it's a person. Um, and um, you just didn't know how to figure out to get rid of it, and, and you were too intertwined. It's like being codependent. So you're finally realizing... That's not worth it anymore. Also see fertility as you really getting close to someone. I mean, some of you might get pregnant if you want a baby, but I think you're really going to get close to someone that values you. Yes, salt protection. So it seems like someone who's very protective of you, someone who cares about you, and someone who's just as invested in you as you are them, you're really going to get closer to them. I also think a lot of your friends are finally going to be telling you, I told you so. I feel like a lot of your friends, like, I told you so. Bitch, I told you so. We were just trying to protect you. We were just trying to protect you. I'm hearing that. Oh, shit. Survival. Yeah, I think you were in survival mode, and I think you were just conditioned to accept things that you shouldn't have. Um, and you were just trying to figure things out. I, I, I think your energy was drained, and you're finally realizing that. Yep, the space princess. Oops, I did it again. Yeah, so it just seems to me like you were finally realizing that you were just letting... You were letting all of this, like, fucking... You were letting too many things happening happen to you and you were too reactive. You were not proactive. You know, sometimes the best defense is an offense and you forgot that. And you were just reacting to your environment, reacting to people around you and just coping with the things that were happening around you rather than taking initiative and sorting things out. So I think you're finally going to feel more in control and you're going to feel more dominant and more in your uh, masculine energy and you're going to feel like, oh, I can control my situations if I'm proactive in it and if I make sure I make the decisions myself rather than waiting. Yeah, Kitsune Wisdom. You're realizing the savviness of other people and yourself and you're realizing through some of the hardship that you've experienced this month, I mean this past month, um, and this year in total, you're finally realizing like I need to not be so naive and I need to be more proactive about protecting my energy and my space and not letting you know bad things happen and being more assertive and aggressive about pushing them out when, when I see red flags. So Scorpio here, Scorpio Energy... And Saturn. See, learning a lot of lessons in life and finally learning that last lesson, you're about to level up. You're about to have a level up. You're about to have a glow up. The first house, I knew it. You're about to have a level up and a glow up and you're finally going to get something you've been waiting for um, because you finally realized boundaries and you realize that sometimes you do need to be mean to people. Sometimes you do need to be assertive and you know pushing people out is important. Scorpio here. Yeah, sometimes you have to be a bitch to get what you want. Absolutely. And some people fucking deserve it. And stop getting, you're realizing I'm just getting walked all over on and used. Um, especially with the first house, if any of you are looking to change your appearance in any way, um, probably going to have an opportunity to do that. Um, and I also see the first house as like um, a glow up. So I think um, you're going to really feel confident in your appearance and really feel beautiful and bold. And I feel like you're really going to feel like yourself again. Um, yeah, I really like that, especially because it's reminding me of Scorpio's reading here that I just did, which is like, you're finally remembering who you are and feeling your oaths. So I really love that. Also, first house, it's time to be a bit more Aries-like, a bit more selfish. Um, 
Again, initiate, be a leader this month. It's time to be a leader. The reason why you had bad people in your life is because you weren't seeking out good people. The reason you were doing bad things and having people do bad things to you is because you weren't seeking out doing good things. If you initiate and you start doing the things you want to do, they won't have the time or energy and you won't be energetically compatible with the negative. So, um, yeah. I think you might also really start to realize um, what people like about you and what they value in you. You'll finally be able to hear them when they say that. Okay, so we have four. And is there even 31 days? I don't think there's 31 days. Maybe the 31 has significance though. Three. I'm fucking hungry. Every time I do these, I get so hungry. Okay, I O Y E A E I O and U. Sometimes Y D T. F S R Frost. Oh, it's frosty. Frosty the snowman. And O I L. Two more letters, and that's it. Oh my god, I can't pick these up. Okay, this isn't any letter, so that doesn't count. P. U. Okay. Per. get you a song <gasps> Madonna sorry I don't want to hear I don't want to know please don't say you're sorry that's one of my favorite Madonna songs favorite um don't take this person back that's getting what they deserve don't protect this person that's getting what they deserve don't feel obligated I don't care if they're a friendship I don't care if they're a family member I don't care if they're a lover um someone needs to deal with their situation i think with the justice card you're going to feel like you need to protect this person and save this person let them drown it's their responsibility not yours okay hopefully you like that make sure you tip if you did there's a link to my people down below there's a button on youtube it's a heart it says thanks keep money directly until next time good luck libras please don't say you forgive me i've heard it all before and take care of myself don't explain yourself. I keep getting comments on my TikTok that I should do ASMR. <laughs> And now, anytime I make a noise, I'm like, oh my god, ASMR, oh my god, I'm ASMR, oh my god, I'm ASMR. I wanna do a bad thing twice. Virgos, your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you like these, you tip. There's a link to my paper down below. There's a button on YouTube that's a heart. It says thanks to give me directly. Okay, Virgang. Let's see how this month will go. Let's see. Ooh. Shit. Judgment. Uh-oh. 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 Where is the judgment coming from? Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Huh. Emperor. Oh. Okay. So the good news here is judgment is judgment when it's upright is about people's rallying of support and their opinion of you, right? And the emperor is about being strong and dominant, and it's also about being in charge. So if you're starting a new job or you're doing anything new where you need to earn respect, great sign, great sign. Um, because that means that you're seen as respectable, you're seen as um, strong, and you're seen as a leader. So those are all good signs if you're starting a new job or a new experience where you need to be respected. 
Um, the problem has to has to come into play with that Three of Swords, which the Three of Swords is a little bit of heartbreak. Let me pull one card for clarification just to make sure. Yep, death, rebirth. Okay. It seems like academically and professionally or in school, we're looking at a really, really, really good moment. I think people are really going to respect you. And if they're not respecting you, you're leaving. So a lot of you will be leaving a job, looking for a new one or starting a new one or starting a new leaf or being looked at differently. So I think a big career focus for a lot of you, um, and it's going to be good. Like if you're leaving that situation, it's a good thing to leave that situation. If you're being forced or fired, it's a good thing in the long run. If you're starting something new because you wanted to, it's a good thing. Whatever the case may be at work or, or school, it looks like there's a really good benefit here where we're seen as strong in control and dominant. However, the problem I'm having is that three of swords connected to all this. That is energy you need to leave at work. My concern with Virgos is once we get that admiration and respect, we need to remain humble when we clock out because the three of swords and the death card is reassessing an old heartbreak, reassessing an old disappointment. And that needs to come with humility. Otherwise, we're looking at round two of a fight with someone that you've already fought. Okay, so we're going to pull some clarification on that. Yes, the unseen, too much is hidden from you. I don't think that you have all of the information and I don't think you had all of the information. Yep. Oh my God. Yamaya, Grandmother Ocean, Primordial. This to me makes always makes me think, this card makes me think of Grandmother Willow, which is like all knowing. I think that you need to be careful about being insensitive to someone in a situation when you didn't have all of the information, you didn't know everything about it. So uh, that's why I want you to understand that this energy is fantastic. I love the fact that you're strong and you're confident, but there's a situation that I see you as being like, I'm not giving any time or energy to that. I'm not getting any emotion to that. That I think is a mistake because I don't think that you have all of the information. And with the unseen card, it makes me think that it's time for you to ask. It seems like you've been reactive. This is a theme that I'm seeing this month for everyone is that everyone has been reactive to each other, but no one's been proactive. It's time for you to ask directly. There are a lot of questions that are left unseen, a lot of questions that are left unanswered with you and someone else that you had an issue with, and you need to sit down and ask those questions because you have a perception that is not accurate, and I don't want you to look stupid because judgment is a great sign, but it's very easy for judgment to embarrass you if you don't have the correct facts. So it's time for you to collect information and collect evidence and collect knowledge this month about situations. You need to collect information. You need to start asking directly. Very important message here. Do not fuck that up. See, protection, magic circle. It's almost like out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to deal with it, but mm -mm. oops, I literally just hit this freaking screen. Hold on. That is funny. <laughs> oh my God. That's literally you guys protecting yourself and be like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> la, 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 la. I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. You can't avoid this. See? Time. Courage. Let me tell you guys something. You guys are going to have to grow some, some balls with an emotional situation. There's, an, there's something to do with your emotions that you've been avoiding, and you have to grow some balls and kind of spearhead it. It actually will be so easy to be solved. Cinderella magic. So again, maybe something happened during Halloween. I'm feeling this before Halloween. So maybe something happens on Halloween. Um, but this is also the magic card here. We're seeing magic and magic here again. Protection. It just, I, I don't think it's going to go bad. I actually think it's going to go really good. I see you enlightened on a situation and I see you realizing, holy shit, I had this whole thing. Like, I... 
Virgos are overthinkers and overanalyzers. And I think you've built up a situation to be something so big in your head and it's not. Yep. Artist. Yep. Nope. That's painting this picture that's not reality. You're painting this picture of something that's not reality. Um, I also think that a lot of you are going to get, this is, I pulled this for, I think, Aquarius as well, um, these same two cards. I feel like there's a hobby and a passion that you let go of that's going to come back. Yes. What did I say? Kitsuna and wisdom. Someone, oh my God. Okay. There's an experience that you're going to have um, that's, that you're really going to realize like, okay, how do I word this? There's a few ways that this is going. First, someone brought you information with the Kitsuna and the Wisdom card. Someone brought you information mischievously because the Kitsuna is fucking mischievous as fuck. Okay? So someone brought you information that was mischievous and manipulative and not 100% accurate. And that's probably why you're going to have to collect evidence and information because you're going to have to realize where the Kitsuna was. Okay? The second part of that is that I think you were acting based off of incorrect information and you seemed worse than you intended to seem so it seems like there's some backpedaling here but it's more so about um understanding and truth seeking that's what i think the entirety of this month is going to be for you understanding honesty and truth seeking transparency seems to be the theme for you guys this month and information gathering yep aries Ooh. okay a little bit of aggression but it's not tremendous North no life path. See, things are going to be going really well for you in one aspect of your life so you can focus on the other aspect of your life this month. Yep, seventh house. I'm telling you that like, yes, I love that you spearheaded your career and your ideas and your goals and things are going great for you in that aspect of your life or whatever it is. But the seventh house is about your partnerships with others and your connection to others, your relationships, your love life, your friendships. And the Aries card here makes me realize, makes me, makes me hope that you realize that some of the tendencies that you had ended up being selfish because you didn't have all the information. And some of you might have thought that people were selfish because you didn't have all the information. And I'm also seeing impulsive energy um, and impulsively doing things and saying things that weren't always the best. So I just think that there's a reset button with something here that you're going to be uh, focused on. I guess for some of you, it's a reconciliation, but only if you can pull, put down, only if you and this person can put down your egos. If both of you can put your egos to the side, you could easily reconcile with this person. If not, I don't know how well it's going to go. Maybe an understanding at best. So we have 20 and 28. I want to do a bad thing twice. This song from Kylie Ray Jepsen, Bad Thing Twice, is stuck in my head. Maybe you hurt someone and it's time not to hurt them again. Maybe that's what that is, because Bad Thing Twice. Okay, O, any letter, A, O, A, O, A, A. Note, I wonder if you're going to text someone that you haven't talked to in a while. Writing a letter or something. D. Dad. Not y'all becoming a dad. S. Sad. Z. I. Sid. Sid and Nancy. Side. Not the side chick. F. A. S again. Seat. Okay. Oh, let's do M and E. Okay. Let's see. Meet. No. One more letter. 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 R. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. No. No. Okay, let's get you a song. Start All Over from Miley Cyrus. I'm telling you right now, you might clean the slate with someone. You might actually clean the slate with someone. 
you might clean the slate with someone. Start all over. I'm going to start all over with you. I think you're going to be in a different place in your life. You're going to feel respected and you're going to feel confident and you're going to feel happy with one aspect of your life. I think most of you, it's going to be career. And then you're going to realize I need to make the other part of me happy because I was acting out of being unhappy. And I was the way I was treating people was because I was unhappy and I'm going to realize that I need to reassess. So love that. Make sure if you like that tip, there's a link to my people down below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says, thanks for giving me money directly. Good luck. I should have brought a snack because my ass is hungry. It's okay, I'm almost done. Critical test to me. I wanna do a bad thing twice. Period ah, period ah, period ah, period ah, period ah, period ah. I really like this um, mermaid deck a lot. Who's up next? Leo! This is your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you like these, you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on you as a heart. It says thanks. Give me money directly. Okay, Leos. Let's see how this will go. Eight of Cups, okay, walking away from something. Knight of Wands in action. Knight of Swords helping. You help someone that didn't help you and you were doing things for someone that wasn't doing anything for you and you're walking away from that. It could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be an opportunity. I think for most of you it's a person though. You're walking away from something that wasn't giving you what you were giving it. Um, and it seems like you were trying to like pull back and see if they noticed. Um, they don't care. So I really feel like you guys are really like realizing your value and being like, you don't see my fucking value. Goodbye. Like, fuck that. Like, I'm not helping you. You don't help me. You don't do anything for me. So you're establishing a boundary with someone right off the bat, which I love. Okay. Atlantis, rapid development, excellent success. Um... Sanctuary, privacy, personal space, respected boundaries. So yes, once once you walk away from this person and once you finally realize your worth and you realize that this person is making empty promises, I think they're making empty promises to you. I think they're telling you they're going to do this. They're going to help you with this. They're not going to help you with shit and you're going to realize that. Could be an opportunity as well, but they're not going to help you in the way you think that they will. And once you walk away from that, your success and your happiness will happen naturally. Um, you will... You you need to realize that you radiate happiness, and when you radiate happiness, you draw things to you. So if you're radiating negativity or this person's frustrating you, you're bringing that negativity to you. If you're radiating happiness, you bring it to you. I think you're really forgetting that you can do everything on your own and you don't need help. I think you're realizing that. Like, I can do everything on myself. I'm a bad bitch. I'm confident. I'm strong. I'm brave. I'm courageous. I don't need other people to do things for me. I got here by myself and I will continue to grow, to, to grow by myself. So to me, it's more about understanding your own personal power and re remembering who you are and your own talent and your own likability. Pentacle and respect. See, you're going to make sure that people respect you again. I also see that as, again, money coming to you, opportunity coming to you from the things that you do, not someone giving it to you. It's from your own hard work, your own talent, your own success. You earned it. Expulsion. Again, it's going to require someone to be pushed out. And once they do, this is a common theme this month. Very common. Also, if there's any idea you've had in your head that you haven't executed, now's the month to execute that idea, especially if it's creative or an opportunity to make money. It'll pay dividends. Hansel, survival. You have been in survival mode. Oh my God. No, I think you guys have been traumatized and you've been in survival mode. You've been cooped up, keeping to yourself. Stop doing that. You're going to stop that this month. Uh-uh. You're going to realize that the more scarcity mindset you had the more scarcity you created again with this card the artist my creative leos this is your time to strike 
Remember who you are. If you have an old passion, it's time to do it again. I'm telling you, this is so important. And it also feels like you were letting other people paint a picture of you that isn't you and you were believing the picture they painted of you. Stella forgot who the fuck she is and she needs to get her groove back. That's what this is. You forgot who the fuck you were and you're letting other people tell you who you are. Fuck that. No, that's not happening anymore. No, that's not happening anymore. No, let your hair down. Shine bright like a star. You're dimming your own shine so that other people can be happy. You're not doing that anymore. That's gone. This month, that's gone. You're going to be your old, confident, slightly cocky self, and people are going to love you for it. And that's how you're going to get what you're looking for. I'm giving you permission to let your ego fly a little bit this month. Yep. Here we go with the knowledge card. Yeah, you already know everything. You don't need you don't need an expert. You don't need someone to teach you something. You don't need help. Fuck that. If anything, you could teach them a thing or two. Bye. I want you to remember who you are. Boast, brag, show off. You're a Leo, you're supposed to. Period. And I oops, skinny. Period. Show off, brag. I don't care. I'm giving you permission to do that. Remember who the fuck you are. Virgo, okay, we have Virgo energy here. Nitpicking and nagging is not gonna do you any good and ripping things apart is not in your nature. Fuck that. The sun is about you, it's your happiness. Oh my God. Those are also plans. Yeah, fuck that, the 11th house. Don't compare yourself to others, stop doing that. Stop listening to other people and what they tell you to do and start doing what you wanna do. Stop planning. You think like, oh, I have to be structured, organized. No, I want you to be spontaneous. I want you to be a little bit erratic and I want you to be a little bit egotistical. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm telling you that being confident and being strong in your ego and, and being kind will get you what you're looking for this month. That is exactly how you're gonna get happiness and success. And also, one of your friends needs to be told off. The sun, the 11th house, and the Virgo card. One of your friends is overstepping their boundaries and trying to tell you who you should or shouldn't be and is being way too controlling. And you need to tell them the fuck off. And you need to do it in a way that is very straightforward. And if it's not nice, oh, well, they'll get over it. Um, because they're kind of overstepping their boundaries and stepping on your toes. You need to rip their fucking head off, basically. What I'm seeing here is like, bitch, back up and don't touch me, okay? There's like an energy of like, bitch, you're overstepping. I'm telling you, I know it sounds crazy, but you need to remind people that you're not one to be fucked with. And you need to remind people that you love yourself and you're confident and you're bold and you have got here by your hard work and your talent and by nobody else giving you a handout. Because it looks like other people are trying to take credit for who you are. Fuck that. Twenty one and twenty six. Come on, BB Rexa. Okay. B, F, A, Z, T, Y, I. U, A, O, Q, R, S, and G. Let's see what we have here. Sorry. Sora. Let's see. Two more. There's another I and another A. Okay. The O and the C. Okay, so... All right, let's get you a song. Oh my God, I love this song. Super underrated. It's called Glow in the Dark by Tie-Dye and Curly. I freaking love Curly. So underrated. Um... Basically, this song is about glowing in the dark no matter what. So I always think this song always reminds me of like when your light is dimmed and when it's dark, um, you still shine and you're always going to shine and you're not going to forget who you are. So for me, um, 
I'm gonna glow in the dark. It just makes me feel like no matter what, that inner fire is still in you and it's gonna be relit no matter how dark it is and no matter how much chaos is around you. So I just really feel like your inner light is is going to burst open and your inner core is gonna shine outwards this month. It's gonna be really good, honestly. And I think sometimes you're gonna really realize like people are drawn to me when I'm like this way, so I need to stop feeling guilty for being this way and embrace it more. So remember, if you like that tip, there's a link to my people down below. It's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says, thanks for giving mine directly. Good luck. I want to do bad things twice. If that song comes up for Gemini's, I'm just, I'm going to have to uninstall. I want to do bad thing twice. Critical test to me. Priya, 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 Priya. Okay, who's up next? Cancer! This is your monthly horoscope for November. Make sure if you like these tips, there's a link to my video down below. It's about 92 as a heart. It says thanks for giving money directly. All right, Cancers. My Cancerians, darling. My con Ooh. The star is reversed. What is this negative attention? I'm being off path. What is that? Five of Pentacles, allowing other people to get power over us. Oh, bitch. Bye, girl, bye. Yep, four swords, rejecting healing wounds. S people are going to project on you this month. Okay, so people are going to project their own insecurities and their own feelings on you this month, and they're going to try to get you to feel guilty and sorry about things that you shouldn't feel guilty and sorry about. I just think people are going to try and bring you down. And I think if I think it's a test to make sure that you're secure in yourself and you're feeling confident in who you are. Do not apologize this month for who you are. Do not apologize for how you feel and do not feel like you need to change and adjust to make other people feel comfortable. Other people need to either accept you or get rid of you if that's the case. And I feel like you're really realizing that I can't change for everyone else around me and I'm not going to anymore. I don't care how much you bitch and moan. I don't care how much you cry. I am not gonna change who I am and be unhappy just so that you're happy. That's the lesson you're learning this month. No more tears left to cry. Come on, Ariana. Ariana, come on, give me a high five. Experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge, arrogance. What did I say? What did I say? People are projecting and they're trying to control you. Vision, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out of body travel. You already know this. You already know this. You've seen it coming. You've had the experience before. It's obvious. Um, you don't need a psychic to tell you this. You've seen it. And I think you've tested someone and they failed. And if you didn't test someone, you will test them this month. There's someone you're going to test. Someone's probably testing you, but you're also going to test someone else about their loyalty and if they're being honest. Um, but it really feels like to me, you're, fi you're finally fucking realizing like, bitch, you're not here for me. Like you, you want me to be this certain type of way. You want me to act like this. You're only happy when I'm, when you're controlling me. You're really real. You're it's rebellious energy this month from you guys. Yep. Which is cottage security. You're really realizing like you make me feel insecure when you try to control me. My security is built off of, in, of what I feel and what I want inside. Yep. Lavender sleep. I think you're going to get some really good sleep this month. I also hear you saying, I sleep well at night to you. <laughs> I see someone be like, you're a terrible person. How do you sleep at night? And I see you being like, very well, actually. Very well. I'm not a terrible person. Someone is projecting bullshit onto you for sure. For sure. For sure. You're like, bitch, I sleep sound and secure. I sleep like a baby. You don't. Someone is really trying to get you out of your element. I think someone's trying to bait you into a fight. Someone's trying to bait you to look crazy. I think someone is really trying to get you to act out of character and you're not giving it to them. That's not who I am. Goodbye. Yep. 
Revelations. Come on, Kim Petras, the Rose Elf. Yes, you're really realizing like, no, fuck you. I'm not that person and I'm not going to be that person. It could even be maybe you used to be that way. And this person is is like, this is how you always are. This is who your, your core is. You're like, no, I've changed. I fucking changed. And I'm not dealing with you acting like I haven't changed. I've changed. You haven't. The beach, babe. Yes. Literally, that is confidence. That is confidence. I'm feeling bold. I'm feeling hot. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling uh, my oats. I know that I'm cool. I know that I'm good. And I don't give a fuck anymore. No. Yeah. No. Love that. Because whenever I look at that card, it's always about being hot and sexy on the beach and like being like, bitch, I look sexy. I look good. I don't care. Yep. Knowledge. See? See, you've learned a lot about yourself this year and you finally are like, um, you're not going to tell me who I am. I know who I am. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Leo confidence. I think you're going to, I think, I think either you're going to be gifted or you're going to buy, or you're going to see something that's like a new outfit or whatever that you, that is really important. Cause I see a physical change in your appearance. So change of your hair or new outfit or a new style or aesthetic. Saturn. See, I also think you've learned lessons about ego. Ego death might have happened, confidence boost. I think you were not confident about certain things. Maybe you felt ugly because you were a certain type of way or you had a certain type of thing with your appearance and now you love it and embrace it. Yep, eighth house. See, death, sex, the occult, and other people, finances, also looking at the eighth house as a lot of projection. So for me, I just think you're really realizing that I'm comfortable in my darkness. I'm comfortable in my um my negative side i know what it is and i don't need to be that way and i'm no longer that way i think that you're comfortable in your shadow side and i think you've accepted your shadow side and your dark side or your mirror and you're like i'm out the other end and i know that i'm good Ugh. i also think you're not afraid to tell someone off that you need to because you're like i'm not people pleasing anymore fuck you i'm embracing my shadow side I'm embracing my dark side and sometimes people need to be told to fuck off oh i love this such a good fucking month for cancers. Such a good month. You've needed this. You might even realize people's real intentions with you this month with that eighth house energy. Someone might do something for you that you least expect. Might do you a favor and you might not even like them. But they're going to do you a favor. 22 and 26. D U O S Duds A J Judd Jude Judas Judas Period. Oh, there's a Judas among us, huh? C. C O T E coat Cody Coyote and Teen M Colleen Jolene Jolene A H I'm gonna do two more. Bitch, give me a different letter. R. Period. Hair. I'm the spirit of my hair. It's all the glory that I bear. Maybe you guys really are changing your hair. Okay, let's get you a song. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head. Yes, come on, tattoo all the things she said. Not y'all having your gay moment. <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming. Um, this is about wanting to escape. And I know the song is about wanting to escape with someone and be free. But I really feel like that song always makes me think of duality. And I really feel like it's more a testament to you being free from yourself, not punishing yourself from the bad things you've done or the bad person you've been or the bad mistakes that you've made or the mistakes that you've had. And really realizing that like, I can look my bad side in the face and still know that I'm a good person and I'm better for it and I'm happy and I don't give a fuck. 
That's what it makes me feel like. So if you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on YouTube that's a heart. It says thanks for giving money directly. Until next time, good luck. Mother looking at me. Tell me, what do you see? How I crossed the line. Daddy looking at me. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. All the things she said, all the things she said. Who's up next? Gemini! This is your monthly horoscope for November. Remember, if you like these tips, there's a link to my PayPal down below. There's a button on YouTube as a heart. It says thanks for giving money directly. So, um, I'm a Gemini, and uh, last month was like the most accurate reading I've ever given myself, ever. And I had no idea any of it was coming. So, <laughs> sometimes being psychic is a little bit frustrating <laughs> because uh, you predict your own future, and you're like, oh, that wasn't so great. So, haven't had the best of October. I feel like for me, I always have a bad October, so whatever. But let's hope November is much better. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first card. Six of Wands reversed. Okay, so that's ego and pride reversed. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, the reading for October was definitely a lot of like chaos surrounding Gemini. So it doesn't expect, it doesn't surprise me that we're seeing the Six of Wands reversed, which is like a hurt ego. Six of Cups from the past. Yeah, that's, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. So I knew that was coming. Okay. And then we have Knight of Wands, a little bit of an in inaction. Let's get clarification for that. Ten of Wands, Burden. Woo! Okay. There is a lot going on um, for Geminis here. We're definitely seeing um, our ego and pride being wounded. Um, we're definitely seeing um, the past rearing its ugly head again. So a past situation is going to take focus and precedent. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's from last month because I did say last month that your situation wasn't going to be solved. So probably carry over and spill over from October into the beginning of November here. But we're also looking at the Knight of Wands, which is inaction, a Ten of Wands, which is a burden. Once again, doing nothing is your best action. Like letting this wave ride out and things ride its course is the best action moving forward. I do not want you to initiate anything. I don't want you to start anything. I don't want you to reach out to anyone. I want you to let things happen naturally. Let people come to you. Let situations solve naturally because the 10 of wands says that there is going to be a lot on your plate this month. There is a lot going on and you are not going to have the energy and the time to organize. You will be reactive this month. Uh, I, it's kind of funny because I've been doing this for all the other signs because I went backwards this month and a lot of other signs are being told to be proactive. For Geminis, you don't have the the option to be proactive there's just too much going on at once there's a lot going on at once here okay oh shit okay lemuria returns earthly spirituality community ocean conservation so um some of you i mean if you're looking for a baby it's a good sign but um for me this is about um the semblance of community that you have, the people around you and nurturing. And then we see the selkie inner skin reclaiming your authenticity. Okay. Reclaiming authenticity means reminding people who you are, people being reminded who you are. So the your light has been dimmed a little bit this past couple months. You're going to shine fucking bright. You're going to shine really bright. People are going to remember who you are. People are going to enjoy you again. Opportunities will come back. People will come back. You're going to see your life being a little bit of a revolving door of all the things that you experienced this past couple of years because it seems like you're coming up on the ending of a cycle. Lemoria Returns makes me feel like the ending of a cycle. It also, I mean, someone is definitely from your past is definitely rearing their ugly head for sure. Someone is coming back from your past, absolutely, to deal with some sort of situation. I can't get much more more than that. I don't know how it's going to go just because there's 
I'm pulling pulled in so many different directions because you got so many things. Like to me, this month is going to be like you're having a super big opportunity for work. You're having a super big opportunity um, for your um, passion project. You're really diving into while also having an opportunity that is huge and a big project at work. Um, one of your friends has a big important event. You're helping plan. Um, one of your exes might come back. Your relationship, or maybe you get a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend, or you have a new love interest. You're gonna have 400 things happening at once. Like literally. Every day you wake up is going to be you just doing. You're not going to have too much time to think. You're not going to have too much time to plan. You're not going to have too much time to schedule. So enjoy this month. Embrace this month. Ride the wave for what's happening. Um, nurture the energy around you rather than trying to force it into a place that it doesn't deserve to go or need to go. Okay? So let's keep going. Homeland Foundation. What did I say? What did I say? Uh, so that's about building a strong base. Okay. But it's also, <laughs> let's pull the, the clarification card before I go in because I'm about to go in expulsion. I knew it. It's also about understanding that the energy that you have at your core is going to pull people in and draw people out and pull people in and draw people out. And so I'm seeing a revolving door. A revolving door of chaos this month, a revolving door of people, a revolving door of opportunities, like things are just everywhere. People are coming and going and in and out and everything like that. I do think that this is okay because I think what's happening is for you to remember all of the flavors in your life and remember that some of them are fucking bitter and some of them are sweet and focus on the flavors that are fucking sweet and not the ones that are bitter. It's a check to see if you've really learned your lessons and if you really understand the flavor. Why is this card so popular this month? Gifts. Someone is either gonna give you a gift or you're gonna give them a gift. If I had to guess, you're probably gonna be given a gift just because it seems like you're so scattered. There's no way you could plan a gift. Um, but it seems like someone is gonna give you a gift or an opportunity. Maybe they're finally gonna come clean with something. Because gift could be about like an emotional gift or, or a knowledge bomb or something too. Um, but that looks like that's very popular this month, but especially with you guys here. Oh, shit. Okay, two cards came out. The Yogi, which is about peace and tranquility, and The Showstopper. Oh my God, that is one of my favorite Britney performances of all time. The VMAs when she did Oops, I Did Again, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. You know what's so weird is it seems like, it seems like, okay, this is, this is exactly the energy that I'm getting. Okay, so you know how a performer is on stage and they perform and they're amazing and they're shining bright and whatever. And then when they're off stage, they're like quiet and reserved and there's like that dichotomy. I think that's what you're going to be experiencing this month where you're going to have to be on and you're going to have to be performing, so to speak, and you're going to have to be doing all of these things and going all these places and having all these things. And then the dichotomy between that is that sort of like depressive period when you're by yourself and you're like, oh, the party's over. Oh, the event is done. Oh, what's going on? There's that back and forth. So you're going to have high highs and not low lows, but you're going to have really high highs this month. And then you're going to have periods of time that are only going to be for a couple hours where you're going to need to take some time for yourself and be like, I just need to breathe. I just need to breathe. Because it seems like you're going to be riding high. I know this sounds bad, but I really do think you're going to be riding high. Like, dude, showstopper could be like, I went on the best date of my life. I'm in a whirlwind romance. I've got the best opportunity in my life for my career. I'm making a ton of money. I'm shining really bright. All these hot guys and girls want me. Um, I, you know, I'm on stage at the VMAs performing. Like, that's what that is. It's like, I'm riding high. I just need to make sure that when I have downtime for two hours, I'm breathing, reassessing, and taking time for myself. Um, but you're only going to have short periods of time to yourself. It's really chaotic month, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's very chaotic. It's getting hectic in here. It's getting chaotic. I keep hearing whirlwind. You're in a whirlwind. You sent a text. It's like the wind changed your mind. Okay, come on, ghost. Willow the West, guidance. Dude, I'm telling you, there's like a light. Your inner light is shining and there's like a light from the universe guiding you forward and manifestations are about to come true like left and right. 
And I think you're going to be shocked at this. I really do. Because to me, that's about being guided by the, from the universe and following the light of the universe, not the light of the people. I think some people are going to really realize that you don't give a fuck about them. You care about yourself. Like, I think some people are in for a rude awakening. You don't have time for them. Aries, exactly. Put yourself first. Be impulsive. Be spontaneous and do the things for yourself. No one else. Jupiter, luck and expansion. I'm telling you, there's a lot of opportunity for you. A lot of opportunity for you. In your love life, in your career, you're having a lot of options and opportunity. I told you the sixth house, that's Virgo energy. That's Virgo energy. Um, and the sixth house is also your routine and your daily every day, your health, your fitness, your daily every day, um, your work. I'm telling you right now, Yes, there's Aries energy in your sixth house, which means like chaos in your daily every day, but it's fucking good because Jupiter is about opportunities and expansion. Change your routine. If you're like, oh, I can't do that because it's changing my routine. No, accept it. Great things are coming. Some of you might fight someone or have a little bit of an argument, um, but the only way that happens is if they're trying to control you because um, it's that Virgo energy. So only if someone's trying to control you. I don't think that's going to happen for most of you. And if it does, it's going to be very short-lived because it doesn't feel like anyone. You don't have the time to argue. You don't have the time to fight. And you don't have the time to care. Um, the only way you'll have the time to care is if you find something that is like, like so great and amazing, you will not let it go. So like you have that opportunity to perform the VMA stage, so to speak, you're going to take that. Or you found the love of your life, you're not letting them go. Like, that's the only way. Because Aries can get tunnel visioned and with Jupiter in the sixth house and get tunnel vision and latch its, its, attach its ladder to something. So the only way that's going to happen is if it's the best thing that you've always wanted that happens, then you're going to attach com, com, completely to it. Um, so yeah. I don't know if that made sense. Hopefully it did. I'm, I'm, I can't reiterate enough that you're going to be cat chaos. It's going to be chaos though. Seven and twenty-two. Is that Thanksgiving? <laughs> okay. D X E. Not X. <laughs> Dex Dexter T. V Q. Fuel, F-U-E-L. Something is going to fuel your fire. P. Oh, that's an R. I thought it was an F. It's an R. Rule. Oh, rule. Z, B. Not me having bad eyes. P. Bet. I think you're gonna break a bunch of rules. So maybe something taboo is gonna to happen to you. W A A D. Let's get two more letters. My left ear is ringing. I'm like Aphrodite. Can we get a different letter? It's R and E again. Y. That's N. Four. Give us a different letter. Rude, maybe. There's already a T here. Let's get a different. And there we go. Okay. Come on, Zula Peep. New rules. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. <gasps> it's Christina Aguilera ceasefire. Baby ceasefire. Throw down your weapons, your weapons, your weapons. I'm on your side, on your side. I definitely think you're just not going to have the time and energy to continue fighting with something or someone. And I also think ceasefire makes me think that someone, someone here, there is, the last message here is ceasefire. Someone who has had animo animosity or you've had animosity is letting it go or you're letting it go. Because there's, a, ceasefire is a song about fighting with someone and then realizing you're both on the same side and coming together. So I think whatever it is that you're busy with is going to make someone else realize that you're on the same side. So make sure you like that if you tip. Make sure you, if you like that, you tip. There's a link to my paper down below. It's about 92. It's a heart. It says thanks. You can give money directly. Until next time, good luck. I'm on your side, on your side, on your side. So baby, cease fire.
Come on, Christina Aguilera. Remember when she had a career? Queen. I'm just kidding. I love Christina. I just need new music from her. I don't know what she's doing. Give us an EP, girl. Or do a song with Britney. Britney Spears and the Ying Yang Twins. Hey, we done became friends. Might as well let the party begin. If you with it, then join on in. Taurus! Oh my god, not the cards dropping. Uh-oh. You wanna know what's so funny? The cards are dropping, which means somebody is dropping something. Okay, Taurus, remember this is your monthly horoscope for November. If you like these tips, there's a link to my paper down below. It's about 92, it's a heart. It says thanks, give me money directly. Okay, Taurus, what is being dropped? The Empress, lack of self-love and self-care. Seven of Swords, victory at all costs. Judgment. Oh, somebody is not the greatest of people and you've been quiet about it and you won't be anymore. So that's the person that's going to be dropped. Um, that's also the bomb that's going to be dropped because it seems like you guys are very much knowledge bomb dropping. Like it seems like you guys are going to be like, this person's fucking terrible and I'm going to tell people about it because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hiding this anymore. I'm sick of the burden, the knowledge, the burden of knowledge. So you're definitely exposing someone um, for who they are. Um, if anybody's trying to get pregnant, Empress is about uh, really figuring out some of the issues that are causing us to not be pregnant. So that's good too. Um, but yeah, it seems like there's somebody's character that's going to come into question and you're going to be able to prove that they're not the greatest of people and they sort of need someone to expose them. So, oh my God, why can't I pick this fucking deck up? Me being so hungry, I'm losing my motor skills. Endurance, keep going. Coral's Wisdom. Colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. It also seems like a project you've been working on or an opportunity or a thing that you've been working on for a very long time um, is not ready to be completed and it's not ready to have a reward, but it, you cannot give it up. There's something you've been working on or someone you've been working with that's going to take longer. So there's a delay and a setback, but it's it's you keep going. It doesn't mean you give up on it. It just means it needs to be put into effect a little bit later. So there's a delay with something that might be delayed by a month or a little bit or into the new year. There's just something that needs a little bit more work, a little bit more effort in in, in, in order to see dividends from that. Candle magic. Okay. Where is the camera? Excuse me. Ooh. I'm getting sleepy. Not Boris. Taurus is boring me. Time and courage. Oh, instead of fucking manifesting and instead of trying to do magic or trying to make things work or work with the universe to get what you want, have you tried asking? Have you tried being direct? <laughs> you need to be direct to ask someone. Ask someone out if you think they're hot. Ask for an opportunity if you want it. Being direct, and courageous and direct is what you need to do. Don't sit there and try to manifest it. Be direct. Ask for it and you'll receive. Go after it and you'll get it. To me, there's there's inaction and you're waiting for literally no reason. Waiting is stupid here. Not going to get you what you're looking for. Sleeping Beauty Awakening. What the fuck did I just say? Wake up. Yeah, people forgot who you are because you've been sitting there being like, oh, it'll happen eventually. It'll happen. No. You're only going to get what you want if you're aggressive and you're bold. Borrow from Aries this month. Stop assuming people can read your mind. They fucking can't. Here we go. Come on, showstopper. Okay, good sign. Great card to pull. Um, that's like my performer card. That's about being showstopping and amazing. Um, in here with this context, that to me is about you needing to fucking shine bright, show off, and be yourself. 
Like, what the fuck are you doing? I just see you dimming your light, stupid, in, in vulnerability. See, you are afraid to take a risk. You're afraid to bear it all. You're afraid to be honest. You're afraid to show off. You're afraid to, to say something or do something because you're afraid that you're going to be looked at as stupid or that people aren't going to believe you or that people aren't going to like you. Wrong. You cannot fail this month. You cannot fail. Anything you do, you have invulnerability, invincibility. You cannot fail. Take all those risks. Take all those leaves. Be honest. Go after what you're looking for. I'm telling you right now, you cannot fail. You will not have repercussions for your actions. It will not bite you in the ass later. You need to take those risks so you can figure out your next move. You like that person? You better go after them. Because even if they reject you, they ain't going to care. I told you, Sagittarius, be straightforward and blunt. Go after what you want. Be an individual. I've been telling you. Mars. Action. Action. Passion and action. Someone is probably going to piss you off too. I feel like someone is going to ignite the bull in you. They're going to ignite your temper. Honestly, you need to be reminded of that. Seventh house partnerships. You with other people. I really think that you need, first of all, I definitely think there's someone you don't like and you're going to have an altercation about that, but it's fine. It'll rule in your favor. Second of all, people kind of do need to poke you and provoke you because you need to be woken up. You're dormant. You're sleeping. You've been hibernating. Boo. You've been hibernating. Stop that. Sometimes you need to get pissed off to ignite your energy and remember who you are. And so you are going to be pissed off this month, but you need to be. That's the only way to get you to fucking do anything and to be motivated. The universe is like, oh, really? Your only motivation is anger? Fine, I'll piss you off. That's what's going to happen. Literally. Oh, my God. You've been dormant. You're like a sleeping dragon. Oh, my God. Breathe fire. You're supposed to breathe fire. Otherwise, it gets pent up. See, one is literally yourself too, but it's one and 26. I swear to God, if you guys don't, sometimes blowing up or snapping or whatever is a good thing. Stop bottling shit up. You're being overlooked because you're being nice. Nice people finish last. I had to say that for another sign earlier. G O O O O O O O O O O L I. D, good, golly, N, Lynn, V, Vin, Vinny, E, A, Van, Vane, oh, Mr. Vane, O, U, A, P, F, and J. Get you a song. I'm fucking hungry. Oh my god, my favorite Paris Hilton song, Screwed. Since I'm already screwed, here's a message to you. My heart's wide open. That song is you being like, fuck it, I have nothing to lose. I might as well be honest and reach out to the people I need to reach out to and do the things I want to do. I'm already screwed. I've already dipped my foot in shit. Fuck it. YOLO. Great energy. It's exactly what you need to have. Yes, yeah, since I'm already screwed, I have nothing to lose. I might as well try. And you're going to get what you're looking for. Okay? Make sure you, if you guys like that, you tip. There's a link to my bill below. It's about 92. It's a heart. It says thanks. You give me directly. Until next time, good luck. Since I'm already screwed, here's a message to you. I'm just not getting through to the lover in you. But I'm still hoping that tonight, tonight, gonna turn down the lights. Give me a little more room just to prove it to you. But who I got? Let it begin, cause you're under my skin and I'm screwed. Aries! This is your monthly horoscope for November. Remember, if you like these tips, there's a link to my paper down below. There's a button on YouTube that's heart. It says thanks for giving me directly. Come on, Aries. Let's see what we got for you guys, my boys and my girls. 
Tell them how you feel, girls. King of Swords reversed. Mmm. In over our head. Watching our mouth. Let me see here. Alienating. Hmm. Five of Cups disappointment. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's get one clarifier. Okay. King of Cups reversed. You need to be careful of being seen as insensitive. Um, I think that there's a conversation that you need to have with someone. But there's such thing as being too brutally honest and too aggressive in nature. And I want you to be careful. I think it's important to be honest in general, but I also think you have to understand that some people can't handle that. And so if someone is receptively, is poorly, is receiving you poorly and receiving your uh, communication poorly, walk away from it. Because the more you try to explain it, the more they're going to feel like you're a bully. I don't think you're a bully. I think that this person is very sensitive. Um, if they, I had them in front of me, I would say like you're too sensitive and you need to grow up and grow a thicker skin. But to avoid this problem altogether, just know that an overly sensitive person, an overly blunt person are just not going to work out. And they're not going to solve their issue. And so I think if you can really realize that you just need to walk away and this issue is not going to be solved right now, you'll probably save yourself from looking bad. So that's the first thing that we're seeing. Oh, water flight. Heaviness light lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. That's a good sign. Where is it coming from? The unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Do you want to know why? Because you're going to get so hyper-focused on trying to fix this thing, try to explain yourself, that you're not realizing that something else is coming. So there's something that you don't see yet. It could be an opportunity. It could be a person that is going to fly right into your life and replace that energy. And they're not going to be overly sensitive. And it's not going to be a situation that's negative and toxic and frustrating. There's someone coming right into your life that's going to be like, oh, I love that about you. All the things that someone else didn't like about you is what this person is going to like about you. It could be a friend. could be a co coworker. could be a relationship but it's everything the other person hated about you this person is going to love and so you just need to be patient and wait and this will happen this month so instead of apologizing and trying to fix walk away and realize that other people are going to value what other people dislike about you See, fertility, I really think I mean maybe some of you trying to make a baby but I really think for a lot of you you're re really realizing like yeah, compromise is important, but I don't have to change who the fuck I am. If you don't like me, then you don't fucking like me. Relax, see? Just chill out and relax. Not everyone blows up on on you all the time. I think there's someone in your life that's over dramatic, blows up about everything, and is impossible to please and makes you walk on eggshells. They gotta go. Someone in your life's making you walk on eggshells, making you feel a bit bad for who you are. Bye. You're not the problem. They are. Some of them might be narcissists or have narcissistic tendencies because they think the world revolves around them and their feelings. Either way, get rid of them. Just walk away. Fucking walk away. Truth, see? Water and salt. What did I say? Literally, literally a waste of time. I think that that person can't handle the truth. They can't handle honesty. They can't handle your vibes. Bye. I'm telling you right now, literally waste of time. Stop trying to heal it. Stop trying to fix it. Stop trying to please. Bye. Let them think you're a bad person. Who cares? Someone else will really love that about you. The fashionista. See, this is about, okay, this is about trend setting. That's about trend setting, which means that this person is, is probably going to miss you when you're gone. Um, and it also seems to me like someone is going to come into your life that really thinks you're cool and really looks up to you or looks at you as like, oh my God, you like have like really a good vibe. Like I like this about you. And I also think you're finally going to realize that you've been dressing a certain way, acting a certain way. That's not you. And you're finally going to be like, bitch, I'm going to wear that hot ass thing. You didn't want me to wear. I'm going to be that person. You didn't want me to be because that's who I am. You were dimming your shine. See, again with this card, super popular. Knowledge. You finally fucking realize like, oh, bitch, fuck you. You're projecting onto me. I'm not dealing with that anymore. Fuck you. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. It's like a realization of who you are. Pisces. The illusion is shattered. The projection is no more. Jupiter, luck and expansion because someone else is replacing their energy or something else is replacing energy and something that is really embracing you. Yep, seventh house. I think a lot of people, it's a person. There is someone that's just going to fly right into your life that's going to be like, I love that about you. 
You're straightforward and blunt. I love that about you. Rather than you're too blunt, I don't like that energy. Or you're kind of pushy. I like that. I need to be pushed. I don't want you to change. I'm telling you. It's like replacing a friend, getting a new best friend, replacing a girlfriend or a boyfriend. It's like really, like really realizing like, oh my God, I just had the wrong person in my life. And I was being dispensed bad advice and feeling sorry for that part of me. That's not that bad. Period. Looks like that's a big focus this month. Looks like that's like the big focus this month. I also think some of you are really going to realize that your issues with intimacy stemmed from your toxic connection with someone rather than yourself. Because it feels like you're going to really be able to be intimate with someone. It could even just be platonic, but you're going to really feel like you can be intimate with someone that... And, and it's going to strengthen your bond and make you feel really sexy. Like, I really feel like you guys are going to feel sexy as fuck by the end of this month. Like, you're going to feel hot and sexy and wanted. And it's going to be because other people have finally validated your feelings and made you feel loved and appreciated. So, 9 and 21 are the numbers. I feel like a lot of men who watch this have had toxic women in their lives. Um, that's a message I'm hearing. Um, I don't know how many men will watch this, but I feel like I'm feeling very strongly like a feminine, a toxic feminine energy. Um, if you're a girl, it could be a guy as well. It's been toxic. Um, but I, I think there's not many men that watch me and I don't know why, but I'm just like, I feel the need to say that like that girl is toxic and you need to leave her. That's what I'm hearing. Like you need to get rid of her. She's not a good girlfriend or she's not a good friend. Like she's toxic and controlling. I keep hearing that. Um, so I don't know why, but I literally keep hearing that. Okay, so we have S-A-I-F-A-G-O. Oh my God! <laughs> this is the fucking third time I've been called a slur by these letters. And this is the first time I didn't notice until it was too late. <laughs> this is the third time I've been called a slur by the letters. <laughs> Oh my God, I hate that. Why does that keep... There's a T! There's a T! Yo! There's a T! <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm the only tarot reader that when I pull nut letters, this word is all the time at me. Like it happens to me all the time. No one else gets slurs. Only why? What did I do? What did I do? What, are you kidding me? I can't. Jay. Oh, I literally just want to delete my account. Thank God it's happening at the end. I cannot believe that happened. I didn't even notice it. I cannot believe that happened. A R R. I cannot believe that happened. I cannot believe that. This happens to nobody but me. E L. This literally only happens to me. Y and B. Honestly, figure out your own letters. I'm triggered, to be honest. You, you're going to have to put these together, Aries. I can't do it for you. I literally can't. You. And R again. It's just like R everywhere. Another A. I just. Oh shit. Okay, well, it's a waste of time. It's in any letter. I don't know. Honestly, fuck the letters. I'm over it. Let's get the song. I can't right now. Thank God I'm doing you guys last. I can't. Oh my God, it's Michelle Branch, All You Wanted. All you wanted was somebody who cares if you need me. I'm telling you right now, you have someone in your life that's an energy sucker that is making you feel excuse me, bad about yourself that has got to go. All you wanted was someone that cares. Well, guess what? You're going to find them. You're going to find them. By the end of this month, you'll have a really strong bond with someone that makes you feel valued, sexy, hot, confident, and beautiful. Okay? If you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's links to my below. There's a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says thanks. You give money directly. Until next time, good luck.